Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm here to talk to you guys about Mobile Suit Gundam The Witch for Mercury, which is on episode 10 of season 2, or episode 22 of the overall total number of episodes. This episode right here looks like to me, things are about to get very hectic. I don't know what's bound to happen next, but honestly, there's too many red flags that's possibly going to happen, so if by all means, let's just get this started right away, okay? Um... We have to it that um, Mio was visited by Ghoul, but uh, but she doesn't want to answer here and there. Eventually, we had to it everyone else is starting to take action, you know, those who are involved or indirectly involved. And, you know, Suleta, there was a scene with Suleta and Ellen telling her everything about superhumans and how they were dispendable or expendable, if anything, etc. So, yeah. Um... As for Ghoul, he ends up having to see Suleta and gives her a deal that if she can beat him in a fencing duel, she could go visit Mio. And therefore, you know, Suleta defeats Ghoul, you know, whatever. And we see to it, Suleta talks to Mio outside her room, telling her that she's going to go and stop Quiet Zero, you know. And to be honest with you, this is going to be one heck of a task because I'm pretty sure, like, um, Suleta and Eric are not going to stop, you know? Even though we've seen the destructive power of what it can do, it has a lot of weaknesses, you know? It needs to take time for it to, like, um, recharge and resupply, you know, that kind of thing, yada, yada, yada. And eventually, you know, um, after Suleta finally get, gets Mio to, like, move, you know, move forward, so Mio decides to get up and move forward with Suleta, you know, that kind of thing. And and we have to it, of course, when it comes to Quiet Zero's, like, um, whatchamacallit, um, Quiet Zero's, like, um, energy field or so, you know, it has a couple weaknesses, you know, and that they tr try to, like, maybe find a way to, like, involve themselves to get in there, you know, whatever the case may be. I don't know. Well, one thing's for certain is that, like, um, Suleta will serve as a distraction as best she can, you know? We have to it that Mio talks to Shattuck and offers him a deal. Maybe to help her out, we don't really know. We had to it that Suleta and Mio make a promise to maybe go to Earth, which apparently, you know, since, you know, Gundam has always been those kinds of crazy, like, flags of in the grave, you know? We don't really know if that really is going to happen. We had to it Suleta manages to control Caliburn at a permit score of 5. Although when I look at Suleta, she's barely able to handle it, you know? I don't know. One thing's for certain is that like um, Suleta is, a is able to handle it somehow, although look, although even though she's able to handle it, I don't know how long she can like, um, what you may call it, um, how long she can last. So pretty much, this is about Suleta's endurance and this could depend on her willpower alone. We don't really know if Suleta may have a chance to like last long, but one thing's for certain, she manages to enter the energy field of Quiet Zero whatsoever and manages to defeat multiple mobile suit mobile suits, you know? Whether if it is like um Eric controlling them, trying to like um not to kill Suleta or try to like him kill her, we don't really know. One thing's for certain is that, like, um, another enemy shows up, and it's from Ghoul's little brother, or half-brother, Lauder. He apparently says you're still obsessed with that woman, Nissan. I don't know. One thing's for certain, we don't really know what why Lauder is doing this, but all I know is, I, I can really tell is that he, I guess he's trying to do his best to help out his brother, or trying to get rid of that woman. We don't really know if it's Mio or not, but I'm pretty sure it is Mio, but whatever the case may be. Whatever the situation is, it looks like to me family members are going to be fighting each other and it looks like to me this is where Ghoul and Lauder is going to have a big heart-to-heart -heart talk. And I'm pretty sure Ghoul, I hope to heck, tells him that I didn't know that it was my dad or our dad that I killed. He was the one that I was attacking to me and I was just like trying to go somewhere or reach somewhere, you know. I don't know. It could go both ways. It could either increase the drama or try to get to the point or something like that. But if Ghoul ends up killing his brother or half-brother, that's going to be quite a shock because he already killed his father and it's already like PTSD, you know, etc. Whatever the case is. And, and so forth. Eventually, Suleta, like I said, she actually held her own against these, like, uh, mobile suits that is, like, controlled by Eric, you know? Eventually, Eric decides to 
decides to decides to take action herself and summon herself to her, summon herself to the battlefield to face Suleta and ask her a question like um why what are you doing here why are you doing this and Suleta says I I've come to stop you the both of you you know so pretty much this could go both ways although Although Suleta is able to handle the permanent score of 5, but barely. Right now, this is the matter of battle of endurance now. Who's going to last the longest or who's going to take the lucky first blow? We don't really lucky first hit. To be honest with you, the fact that Suleta is able to bat to barely like um, handle that permanent score of five is actually impressive, but I'm afraid she's not gonna last long. I'm just gonna speak out the truth. All this time, you know, she might have like um, had Eddie to help her out, but now she's on her own facing the her elder sister or genetic clone original. So looks like to me, I don't know how it's gonna end, but one thing's for certain: one of them or both of them could die. Well, I highly doubt Eric will die because she's not. She's way too important unless Suleta can land a lucky hit on her. That aside, unless she switches sides, which could also be shocking, but it could be highly unlikely considering that she understands her mother's pain and that she lost her father and everything she, everyone she cared about. You get the idea. <laughs> so, yeah, um, this is going to be kind of bloody all things considered knowing that Ghoul's going to be facing his half brother and Suleta's facing her her genetic clone sister so oh well so until then people I'll see you guys in the next video so I'm off as it all have a good day I'll see you guys next time all right peace out bye bye Ta -ta -da!